With this phyllo chicken and root vegetable pot pie, get all the comforting flavors of chicken pot pie, but with the extra goodness and nutrition of root vegetables. First, butter an 8-inch square dish with a paper towel. In the large pot, bring 3 cups of sodium-reduced chicken broth to a boil. Here I have one potato that I've peeled and cut into bite-sized chunks. Now I left it in water so it doesn't brown. I also have one carrot, a parsnip, and some butternut squash that I've cut in the same way. Now add them to the broth. Simmer covered for about 10 minutes or until the vegetables are tender. Stir in some frozen peas. Simmer covered for two minutes. Drain the vegetables and make sure to reserve the broth. Transfer the vegetables to a large bowl. Add two cups of cooked chicken cut in bite-sized pieces. You can use leftovers or barbecue chicken from the grocery store. Make sure you have two cups of chicken broth left. If not, add more broth or milk. Melt some butter in a large skillet over medium heat. Add one chopped onion and three cloves of garlic that I've minced. Cook for about three minutes, stirring frequently. Stir in some dried thyme, dry mustard, and dried basil. Season with salt and pepper. Sprinkle with flour and stir for one minute. Gradually whisk in milk and the reserved broth. Bring to a boil, then reduce the heat, whisking for two to three minutes until smooth and thickened. Pour the sauce over the vegetable mixture. Stir until everything's well coated. Transfer to the butter dish. Now for the topping, you'll need four sheets of phyllo pastry. Take one sheet and place it on a work surface. Now make sure you keep the remaining sheets of phyllo covered with plastic wrap and a damp cloth. If not, they'll dry out and you won't be able to use them. Brush the entire phyllo surface with some melted butter. Layer a second sheet on top of the first one. Brush with some more melted butter and repeat with two more layers. Cut the phyllo into four equal size rectangles. Crumple a rectangle slightly and place it on a quarter of the dish, tucking the edges inside. Repeat with the remaining three, making sure to cover the filling. Don't worry if your phyllo pastry is torn, you'll never know after the sheets are stacked and crumpled. Bake in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes or until the filling is hot and bubbling and the phyllo is golden. The pot pie is ready and it smells incredible. Let it stand 10 minutes before serving. This satisfying dish is the perfect way to enjoy root vegetables.